Hi everyone, this is Rodrigo Sa from All About Aquaculture. Tout sur l'aquaculture au profit d'Afrique. Uh, today we are at the aquaculture farm at the Royal University of Agriculture in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I'm here with my friend Odom. Yes. And he's going to introduce us on frog farming, which is also called rana culture. So he will take us through the process of selecting the broodstock and raising the uh, small frogs and so on. So stay tuned with Mr. Odom. Okay, okay just uh, hello, I'm, you can call me Dom. My name is Odom Sum, and now I'm a farm technical here to help teacher for, uh, I can say that I'm a research assistant for the teacher in the farm. And now I also uh, the staff of one project with uh, funded from France Embassy. Okay. okay. And now I will introduce you about the frog in my farm. Nice. Okay, you can see now uh, this is the brood stock in the cycle tank and this is the male frog. How do you know it is male? Okay, uh, for this frog species it is very easy for us to identify which male or female. Male, we can see that if we compare to the female, male it is uh, smaller than female and one more thing we can identify it clearly because it have uh, white spot under it. Uh, okay, I will catch it for you. Okay. Yes, because for the male it has white spot under its its knees. You can see clearly. Okay. Okay. Can you show again? Okay. I want to make sure I see. Yes, this touch, is the, touch the spot. Yes, this is the the spot that one it is dry and it can increase the the noise to attract the female. Okay. 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 And this is for the female. <laughs> These are females. Yes, this is the female. You can see the size of it. The female is more bigger oh. than male. Mm -hmm. And if we look to the spot, there is no spot inside here. You see? Mm. Okay. And so, so the male. So both together we see okay let me yes. okay okay there is a spot here and there is no spot yes no spot oh, so Once. the man is on the right yes and the female is on the left the left okay okay mm -hmm. okay and one more thing if we want to check that uh, uh, how the female or male it is ma it is maturity for breeding Yes. You can easily check with the female. You can do like this, and then it's uh, it become stronger with our touch like that. Oh, it holds your hand. Yes, hold the hand, and it will uh, wrap wrap our hand. Okay, so that it, means it's ready. Yeah. yeah, So it means that it is ready for maturation. So we can do breeding it. Does that mean it's ready to grab the female? Yes, to grab the female. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yes. We may learn a lot from from nature. And for the male, if we if we want to know that it it age is maturation, the female, right? Yes, the female. So yeah. we can uh, touch it uh, under this dirt, and it is become squeaky. You can touch it. Yes, it become ready. It means that for the age inside the female, it is already for maturation. Okay. So we can do it. Nice, nice, okay. nice, nice. Thank you. How when we select the female and male already, however, we also to use some hormone for inducing it also. Okay. And for now in my farm, we also do a HCC or HCG. What is HCG? HCG, uh, the, the full name is uh, human chorionic gonadotrophin. It is a kind oh. of hormone that we do inducing. Okay. okay, to stimulate the female. Yes, to stimulate the female. Okay. Okay. Do you stimulate the male also? Yes, we all we, we also inject to the 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 female, the male also. Okay. Okay, both inject. But for the dose for the male, it's just only half of the female. The, the dose? Yes, the dose. Okay. okay. But is it because the male also is smaller than the female that you only give half? Uh, no, because uh, for the reason that we need to induce or uh, we need to use uh, the dose of the female is because the male because we need uh, female to uh, to reduce or to to release a lot of age. Okay. See? And yes. for the male we just uh, check it for 
uh, attracting when they are attracting the male. Oh. The female. Okay. okay. But for this, it's the female that you can see. It is more bigger than male. And if you can check with the color, you can see the female. It is not yellow like a uh, male. You can see male is more yellow than female. And the size is also smaller than male. Okay. So uh, why do you put the males and the females here? Okay, because uh, I want them to release some age weight inside their body. Mm -hmm. And I want them to make more age for the next reproductive next year. Because uh, when I put it here, I'm exposed to the light and I will cover this into this. And the temperature inside the tank, it will be increased. And uh, made the metabolism of the frog, it also increase. And it can produce and I mean that it can produce more or it can develop more age for the for the next reproduction. Oh. So by doing that you induce reproduction through mm -hmm. the sunlight and the increase of temperature in the tank. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. that's really good. It's really beautiful as you say eh? You see that the males are yellowish, yeah? Yes. And smaller and the females are more brown and they have a rounded stomach so they, they, they carry eggs it's really good thank you okay, so after you have injected the male and the female what do you do to make sure that they breed please yes okay one uh, after we inject the male and female and then we will put it into the tank or side uh, cycle tank like that in the ratio one one and the, the time that we start to inject it is around 4 to 5 p.m. and then at the early morning the frog will be released the egg and then we can collect the egg from the tank to expose under the light because frog eggs need light to do development and hatching if the light is not good or the light we don't have light enough it hatch it also not well okay okay so after you collect the eggs hmm? and you exposed to the light how long do you expose them to the light okay we we just uh, expose it only one day one day yes and then the 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 frog edge was hacked and then we collect the tadpole to bring it here around this country town to do nursery in it oh, in the with the plants yes okay so we are going to see them now okay okay and, and uh, what do you do you feed the yes. the the the, feed? the the broodstock male and female because uh, this uh, species is all it already be a commercial species, so they can eat uh, pellet feed. Mm -hmm. Like you see, this is the feed of that frog that we provide to them. Mm -hmm. you can see, you can see the feed, and we use only a uh, tilapia feed for them. Oh, you give tilapia yeah, feed, feed to the frogs. But we need a uh, higher protein content. Mm -hmm. At least it could be thirty crude protein content for the thirty percent. Yes. Protein. 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 Because frog eat, eat meat. So, so, meat. so it's 30 percent crude protein. Yes. Why this high level of protein? Uh, because frog it is uh, animal with meat, a higher protein. So if we provide them the food that with low protein content, it will be not good for them, especially for the uh, age development and, and the Okay, and in the nature, the frogs also they. And in the nature, the frogs also they eat uh, insects yes, and so on. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. So a good source of protein. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. And and from there, uh, from here, where do we go? And then we will go to see the uh, tadpole that oh. we are that we already produced. Okay. But by the way, do you always have to keep them in these uh, cylindrical tanks or you can put them in any type of tank? Okay, for frog, we, we can put it in any kind of tank that it make, uh, that it, it is suitable for you. Mm -hmm. uh, because now in the farm, we already have the existing material or existing facility like concrete tank. So it is easy for me to put it also. But if you want to put it in other kind of tank we can for example uh, like a plastic tank or like a other tank over there so mm -hmm. we can put it also the the man the man purpose that we can put it if we just uh, make something that can contain the water inside and we can keep it so mm. frog is very easy nice okay nice okay you can see there are a lot of stock <laughs> wow okay and when I know you will talk about all this later, but 
just for my information, why mm -hmm. do you keep them here? Why do you breed uh, 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 frogs here? Uh, okay, okay. Th thank you for your question. Because you know, uh, frog. I, I can say that frog. It is a good source of protein in Cambodia people. You see, and one more thing. Uh, I can say the the reason why that I'm interested in frog and I do frog breeding here because frog. Uh, it is very easy for culture and the most important thing that uh, attracting to me to produce frog because frog uh, most people was prefer to frog you see i can say that frog is very popular one in cambodia okay yes so people like to eat frog yes, like to eat frog but do people want to buy frog i mean is it a business a good business yes uh, frog it, it is a good business in cambodia also because uh, most restaurant in Cambodia they, they are prefer to produce uh, to make food okay. which made from frog. And how much do we sell one kilogram of uh, frog? Okay, uh, for me because uh, I was culture in here and I can sell I will sell directly to the consumer so it price it can be three dollar per kg. Three dollars yes. per kg. But yes. Oh. But if I sell it to the wholesaler I can get only uh, around two dollar. Two dollar per yes. kilo. And how long does it take for you to grow them from the small ones you will show us till maturity, which is maybe like this uh, bulldog? Okay. How long does it take? Okay. If we if we are starting with the edge, with the small tadpole, mm -hmm. when the tadpole be, be become to the froglet, we take around forty-five days. Only forty-five days. Yes, only for forty-five days to froglet. Oh, okay. but and uh, when. We use uh, and then we will use the frog lab to culture for grow out. We take around three months more. Okay. Okay. Three months more, and then it will reach market size that we can sell. And the, our and the average weight for the frog it can be two hundred gram per. Two hundred grams. Yes. That's the market size. Yes, it's the market size. I think we should so see the small ones now. <laughs> okay. Okay, and if we want to. Condition it until become good stock. We need to catch here. Uh, we need to keep it around one year that the frog is maturity. One year. Yes, one year. Oh, before they reach maturity, it takes one year. Yes. And you feed them in the meantime. Yes. Okay. One year is maturation. And uh, sometimes it can be just only eight months, but uh, ten months. But uh, when I'm trying to do breeding the frog in that year, it is not good for frog, which has a life for one year. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, and this is the temple that it uh, around uh, for 40 or 45 days old. That now it's starting to de develop to be a froglet, like you see. Now they are starting to develop for froglet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. They jump. Yes, they are jump. So you see that now they have the the tail, and then they will develop the tail with uh, fit it into that body. You see, <laughs> now they become froglet. After the after forty five days that they fully develop to be froglet, we will transfer them to other tank with uh, shallow water. Because when the froglet has a leg and an other, and they will not need much of water, so we can keep in here and we do conditioning in here. Okay. Okay. So in this. What time, do you mean by conditioning? Conditioning. I mean uh, nursing. 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 Okay. Yes. If we keep it in here, the uh -huh. tadpole will try to bite them, and you see they become die over there. So oh, okay. If, if, so if, here they fight. Yes. yes they will fight. They will because frog is also high cannibalism. Also. Okay. Yes. Okay. You see, if if we don't transfer it, the the tadpole will will bite them all over there because when the frog has a leg and over there, mm -hmm. they, they cannot suck it into the water too much, mm -hmm. too much long time. So they will uh, floating over the surface of water. Okay. Okay. And you then you move them. Yeah, move them to to that tank mm -hmm. with the shallow water. Okay. okay. And after that, when they reach around uh, 50 days, and then we can sell to the farmer. Oh, to for, the farmer, yes, no? To the farmer. To for grow out? Yes, for grow out. Okay. Okay. So some farmers, we come and buy these uh, small ones? Yes. For grow out? For grow out. Juveniles? Juveniles. <laughs> okay. okay.
and for for the for the price for the for the seat of rock you can sell uh, 300 wheel per individual how much uh, three 300 wheel per individual i think that it can be a zero point zero Okay. okay, so 300 uh, Cambodian currency, the yes, real, yeah. which is about uh, uh, 8 cents, US yeah, dollar yes, cents yes, yes. per individual. Yes. Okay. Okay, and this is uh, the, I can tell that it is the Croatia and it also the marketable side that oh. we can sell to the market. You see? This one is the marketable side? Yes, marketable side also. Okay. Okay. So people like to buy this one and eat. Yes, and uh, yes. Uh, and why? I see the color here is a bit light compared to the the other one. A bit other, uh, because uh, it here it with the light. So when they uh, exposed to the light, the color it will be more attractive. It okay. will be more uh, fresh. Okay. <laughs> okay. And does the market prefer when it is light like this or when it is darker? Uh, as, uh, most most uh, consumer when they come directly to the farm and when they see the frog like that, they are very happy with that because they think that they, they are healthy and yeah, it's healthy. very good for them to eat. Okay. If you see the frog, it is not good luck. He yes. said that he feel like uh, <laughs> not good with that. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, now you have an idea uh, about uh, Rwanda culture, which is frog farming. And it's good to mention that in Africa there are many species of frogs that grow very big, like the Goliath uh, species of frog in Cameroon that can grow 5 kilograms. So you can see that with uh, uh, simple techniques and also uh, the mastering of uh, reproduction and grow out, people can produce edible frogs, which is in high demand, not only uh, in Asia, but growing also in Africa. So uh, I want to thank my friend here for welcoming us, for teaching us. Okay. Okay. And I hope you will like this video, share it, and most importantly, for those who have not yet subscribed, to subscribe to All About Aquaculture, to Sula Aquaculture Profil Africa. How do you say thank you? Uh, Autumn Tran. Tran. Um, bye bye. It's Tumriya. Eh? How can Tran? So we say it together. How can Tran? To me, the